You're watching Fox 13. And the 10 o'clock news starts now. His entire life, we just thought he was an, like, things just didn't impress him. But little did we know that it was because everything to him was flat. A new vision therapy is using video games. And tonight at 1030, we're going to show you how doctors are using them to treat lazy eyes. And it's really helping. We'll tell you all about it. Well, it's a condition where the signals to the brain from a weak or a lazy eye are overpowered by the strong one. This mismatch affects depth perception, hand-eye coordination, and the ability to see in 3D. But our Dr. Joe shows us how both children and adults are overcoming the problem by having fun. And it all starts with a video game. Let's put it on, Ben. Ben Naltz gearing up. Is that comfortable enough? Uh, yeah. Wanna... Through these glasses, this second grader is seeing this two-dimensional computer image in 3D. <laughs> While using a virtual hand to pop virtual bubbles might look like a way to have fun, it's actually a form of therapy to fix Ben's eyes. He has amblyopia, commonly called lazy eye. There you go. Mom Rebecca says it's working. About two or three weeks in, he started getting um, just so like better and recognizing shadows and his uh, his drawings like started taking on three dimensional hints. Can you look right here at my ear? An eye exam at school last year found the problem, but before that, there were clues. Ben struggled with hand eye coordination and didn't seem to enjoy 3D. His entire life, we just thought he was an like. Things just didn't impress him, like you think 3D and but little did we know that it was because everything to him was flat. I was seeing basically like red and kind of bluish outlines when I went to the 3D things. And, and I was kind of, and I was kind of going like, is that supposed to be happening? With vivid vision therapy, Ben sees things he couldn't see before. Can you read the whole row to me? Mm, sure. What does it say? D, D P X. Optometrist Nathan Vanilla Warford has been using Vivid Vision for about six months. I was very surprised at how effective this is. I knew that applying virtual reality to some of the principles that we use in vision therapy uh, would be more engaging for our patients, but I didn't realize how quickly I was going to be able to see. Uh, uh, effects and changes in their vision. Past lazy eye treatments use patches covering the good eye, forcing the weak eye to work harder. Vivid Vision uses a contact lens to strengthen the weak eye, and the virtual games train both eyes to work together. The immediate virtual feedback then teaches the brain how to process messages and see 3D. It's so much more engaging, and it provides so much more uh, visual feedback for patients that I think it's going to be become a, a standard part of vision therapy. It is worth the effort. It is worth. It is so much easier, and like you see, you see results quick. It's been amazing. Ben's improving vision is also helping him catch and throw. We tried practicing it um, a while ago, and I seem to be improving <laughs> a lot. And while he isn't ready to trade his virtual world for America's favorite pastime... Oh, God, no. I know nothing about baseball. <laughs> he may set his sights on something else. The only sports I like that involve skiing, that's hockey. <laughs> for the Fox Medical Team, I'm Dr. Joette Giovinco. He is a cutie, and Dr. Benia Warford has successfully treated adults in their 50s, but says the earlier you start, the better the results. The cost varies, but maybe as high as $3,000, but priceless for that little He sure little is. Guy. Glad he's doing so well. He's adorable. Gotta love that.